Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve this system of nonlinear equations. And to do this, we are going to begin by factorizing both equations. Now, when we come to the first equation, you will see that we have a common factor, which is x. So we have x into x divided by x is 1. xy divided by x is y. And xy squared divided by x is y squared. And this is equal to 35. In the second equation, we also have a common factor, which is x squared. We have x squared. x squared divided by x squared is 1. x squared y squared divided by x squared is y squared. And x squared times y to the power 4 divided by x squared is equal to y to the power 4. And this remains equal to 525. Now, let us look at this. We can write this as y to the power 4 plus 1 to the power 4 plus y squared. Of course, you know that 1 to the power 4 is still equal to 1. We can also write these two as y squared squared plus 1 squared squared. Because, of course, you know that to remove these brackets, all we have to do is to multiply these two powers. And 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then we still have y squared that is this now look at this we have this quantity squared and this quantity squared now remember that a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared minus 2ab in this case a is y squared and b is 1 squared so what we are going to do is that we are going to write this in this form. So we have y squared plus 1 squared, both squared, minus 2 times y squared times 1 squared. And then, of course, we still have plus y squared. That is this. Now let us simplify this a bit. We have y squared plus 1, both squared, minus 2 times y squared. Of course, you know that 1 squared is 1. And anything multiplied by 1 remains the same. And we have plus y squared. Now look at these two. You will see minus 2y squared plus y squared. Of course, you know that that is equal to minus y squared. So this becomes y squared plus 1 squared minus these two now combine to give us y squared. So you can see that we have factorized this or rather we have written this in a different form. Now, let us look at this. We have y squared plus 1 squared minus y squared. This is the difference of two squares. And of course, you know that when we have a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. In this case, a is equal to y squared plus 1, that is this, and b is equal to y. So, to factorize this, we have y squared plus 1 minus y multiplied by y squared plus 1 plus y. So, ultimately, you can see that we have broken down this into these Two. And of course, remember that we still have this. So here we have x squared. 
and this is equal to 525. Now let us write this as x times y squared plus y plus 1 multiplied by x times y squared minus y plus 1 is equal to 525. Now go back to this equation. You will see that x times 1 plus y plus y squared, that is exactly this, is equal to 35. So this is 35 multiplied by x times y squared minus y plus 1 is equal to 525. So if we divide both sides of this equation by 35, we are going to have that x times y squared minus y plus 1 is equal to 525 over 35 and of course this is equal to 15 and finally when we multiply this out we have x times 1 is x minus x times y is x y and x times y squared is x y squared is equal to 15 and from the first equation we have x plus xy plus xy squared is equal to 35. Now when you look at these two equations you will see that if we subtract this first equation from the second equation we are going to get rid of this and we are going to get rid of this and we are going to be left with xy minus minus xy which is equal to 2xy and this is going to be equal to 35 minus 15 which is equal to 20 and of course from here we have that xy is equal to 20 divided by 2 which is equal to 10 so we have that xy is equal to 10 and from this equation we have that y is equal to 10 over x we now substitute 10 over x for y in the first equation we have x plus x times y is 10 over x plus x times 10 over x squared is equal to 35. We have x plus 10 plus this is x times 100 all over x squared is equal to 35. Of course, this is going to take one of that, leaving us with x. And from here, we have x plus 10 plus 100 over x is equal to 35. To get rid of this fraction, we multiply through this equation by x. x times x is x squared. 10 times x is 10x. 100 over x times x is 100. And this is equal to 35 times x, which is 35x. Rearranging this equation, we have x squared plus 10x. This will come over to the left-hand side and become minus 35x plus 100 is equal to 0. From here, we have x squared 10x minus 35x is equal to minus 25x plus 100 is equal to 0. Now, to factorize this quadratic equation, all we have to do 
is to find the factors of 100 that add up to minus 25. And of course, we know that that is going to be 20 and 5, minus 20 and minus 5. Because minus 20 times minus 5 is equal to plus 100. And minus 20 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 25. We have x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 20 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x minus 20 is equal to 0. From here, we have that x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 20. So now we have two values of x. We will go on to find the values of y using this formula. So when x is equal to 5, then y is going to be equal to 10 over 5, which is equal to 2. And when x is equal to 20, y is going to be 10 over 20, which is equal to half. So we have that the two points that satisfy these two nonlinear equations simultaneously are 5 and 2 and 20 and half. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.